Would you like to know what we've been working on lately? As you can see, all the pushed down sand, that is the old greenhouse site. If you look over here, the marking on this side and the marking on that side, that will be the new greenhouse site. Zach has left, but Kyle and Ben remain. They've been working on this wall here. As Mr. Thomas has been. And Mr. Thomas, instrumental. So how, how many more blocks on top here? There'll be uh, two more layers on top of here, so about 30 more blocks. Okay. Got to go around so the sides as well. Three high in the blocks. Three high. And then we'll put it along that side as a retaining wall. And then significantly less blocks on that side, right? Yeah. And then we even out all the dirt. And then we get to do the more fun stuff, putting together our greenhouse kit, right? Oh, yeah. So because um, we're working on the greenhouse over there, the site, we had to move some of our systems. Um, here is our simple system in all of its glory. And there's our complex system over there. Uh, let's take a look. Hello, so what we got here, we still have our simple system, which has just been moved up against the school. Uh, you know, our plants are, are doing okay. Some of them have been badly affected by the slightly less sunlight. The eggplants aren't looking too great in here. We've got some, some obviously damaged leaves. Uh, but the tomato plants are continuing to grow here in the back. And our bean plant is actually continuing to give just a few beans, so you know, we'll, we'll probably be able to harvest it for another few weeks. Uh, our goldfish are continuing to grow. We have, if I remember correctly, 46 in this tank. And our new tank heater and thermometer system is keeping this tank at about 82 degrees, which is great for them. They're incredibly active. So over here in the complex system, we've got the same new thermometer system, same new heater, a lot more water, so it's having a little more trouble getting it up to temperature. We are holding right here at 72.7 degrees Fahrenheit. We do have an increase in the growth of the tilapia. Uh, they were kind of in a hibernation stage when the water was down below 70 degrees. Uh, so some of them have started growing larger. And we've increased the flow and put in a new solids lifter so that our tank can remain cleaner. Finally, over here in the complex system, we just had uh, another big planting. Uh, some seeds that were germinating. We've got Brussels sprouts, some romaine lettuce, green cabbage, broccoli. Uh, some other type of lettuce here and a little arugula and uh, we've got that one little mint plant that every once in a while we pick out all those pesky uh, mint sprouts because it, it grows like crazy finally my favorite part we have this great broccoli plant which is finally looking like what we know broccoli to be so that is actually the flower of the broccoli and as you can see there are a couple smaller ones coming up down in there and hopefully uh, with a little research we can find out exactly when to harvest Anyway, that's the complex system. Okay, one little improvement that we're gonna try. Um, we, in, we increased the um, space of the holes uh, in the bottom of the solid, list, li solid lifting overflow. Um, and then we heard somewhere, uh, I need to find out who it is so I can credit them, um, to put this uh, bubble curtain on top of the solid lifting overflow. Uh, it, supposedly it pulls some of the solids in towards um, the vacuum uh, of the pipe so they can drain out from this way into the sump. Um, so far not totally full, um, so we're going to give it a couple of days, um, see if the uh, air is able to work its way through there. Any closing comments? Come and dig. Hi Henry. <laughs>